I now give the floor to His Excellency Hor Nam Hung, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of Cambodia. Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, allow me to warmly congratulate His Excellency Sam Kutesa of the Republic of Uganda for his election as President of the 69th Session of the United Nations General Assembly. I have full confidence that under your chairmanship, the 69th Session will proceed to a successful conclusion. I would like also to take this opportunity to extend my high appreciation to His Excellency Sean William Asher of Altiga and Bermuda for his fine leadership and relentless effort as uh, President of the City Aid Session in guiding us to many outstanding achievements during the last session. Mr. President, in many ways, our world in which we are living is at a critical juncture, and the current picture is that uh, bleak. The international community remains seriously concerned over the recent geopolitical security development in many parts of the world. The self-declared Islamic State in Iraq and Syria and their horrendous crime and menacing peace, security, and stability in this country, which have already hit been seriously hit by armed conflict of, and act of violence. In Syria, the continued armed hostility has caused not only the death of thousands of innocent people and children, but also millions of refugees. In Africa, some countries have also suffered by armed conflict and violence which have given rise of danger for peace and stability in this part of the world. All these armed conflicts and crimes are threatening peace, stability, and human security, not only in this region, but also the world at last. To contribute to the peace process in the Middle East and Africa, Cambodia has participated actively in the United Nations peacekeeping operation. We have dispatched up to now more than 2,000 peacekeepers to Lebanon, Mali, and South Sudan. In November of this year, Cambodia will deploy another detachment of 216 peacekeepers to Central African Republic to the United Nations Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission, MINUSCA. Well, extremism is threatening the world peace and security, the speed of epidemic infection of Ebola in Africa has also become one of the worst threats to the world today. It is of critical importance that the international community should make concerted effort to address this global challenge in an effective and timely manner. With regard to the hostility between Palestine and Israel, Despite the fragile ceasefire recently concluded, it demands a serious concern. We call on all parties to make effort to the resumption of meaningful peace talk in order to find a viable political solution of two states living peacefully side by side. Cambodia believes that this is the only path to put definitively and end to this long conflict between Palestine and Israel. The situation in the eastern part of Europe, in spite of the delicate ceasefire, still remains worrisome, and its application could revert to Cold War. In Asia, the launching of missile by DPRK has set off international concern and aggravated the situation in the region. The six party talk should be resumed in order to explore possible venue for peaceful dialogue to bring about a peaceful denuclearization of the current peninsula. Mr. President, climate change 
is nowadays obviously a global challenge as well as a human security issue. The rapid pace of climate change is having devastating effect for most developed and developing countries. The developing countries mostly dependent on agriculture, so for works from similar negative effects of climate change, such as frequent typhoon, storm, flood and drought, etc. For instance, in 2013, heavy moon caused extensive flood around across Cambodia, claiming 168 life, causing one billion of dollar of damage and affected 1.8 billion people. Even this year, 12 provinces of Cambodia, among the 25 provinces and cities, have suffered by flood, killing 45 people and affected almost 100,000 families. According to a report by the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the global warming caused by the increase of greenhouse gas is generated by human use of fossil fuel. There is no doubt that industrialized countries, which consume most of the world fossil fuel, emit the largest amount of greenhouse gas, where the developing countries, which produce little of such gases, become the main victim of the climate change. Therefore, it is imperative that the international community provide further impetus to revitalize and prioritize action to address climate change based on the UN principle of common but differentiated responsibility. Having this concept in mind, while uploading the fruitful outcome of the recent UN Climate Change Summit held on 23rd September this year here in New York, Cambodia look forward. We hope that the 24th Conference of Party on Climate Change, COP21, to be held in Paris in December next year could bring about concrete measures to reach a new global agreement with legal force applicable to all parties under the United Nations Framework Conference on Climate Change. In line with the United Nations principle for sustainable development and to mitigate the threat of climate change, Cambodia has adopted the National Strategic Plan on green development for 2013-2030, which aim at achieving economic and social development in a sustainable manner, while at the same time protecting the environment through the efficient use of raw material and natural resources, clean development, and green preservation. Cambodia has adopted as well several legal instruments for the green growth development, including the Memorandum of Understanding on Green Growth Cooperation between Cambodia and South Korea Global Green Growth Institute and the National Council of Green Growth. South Asia, which is highly vulnerable to the actual impact of the climate change, has established the ASEAN Climate Change Initiative in 29 as a consultative body to further increase the region capacity in both mitigation and adaptation effort. As a manner of ASEAN, Cambodia full, fully engaged in the implementation of this ASEAN initiative through the ASEAN Working Group on Climate Change and the ASEAN Action Plan on Joint Response to Climate Change with a goal to enhancing closer and deeper regional and international cooperation on climate change. Mr. President, next year we mark the deadline of the Millennium Development Goal, MDG, where some MDG targets have been achieved. We have to acknowledge that much more effort are needed to reach the set of the goal of MDG. Our progress has been underwent and insufficient. Many developing countries and did not attend their MDG primary due to unfulfilled commitment, lack of resources, insufficient dedication 
and food and security. The situation was further aggravated by the financial uncertainty in the developed country, which have an effect on their commitment to ODA. Therefore, bolder and more focused global effort and need are we approach final year to realize MDC. With the aim of realizing MDC, Cambodia has adopted our own development target known as Cambodia MDC, which are incorporated comprehensively in our National Strategic Development Plan 2014-2018. As a result, substantial progress has been achieved Project Cambodia to meet some goal of the FDC by the end of 2015. Cambodia target in reducing poverty led to 19 or 95 percent by 2015 has already been achieved ahead of schedule as the national poverty rate has already reached 19 percent in 2013. As a result, Cambodia received a UN award for having hunger before the deadline. In combating HIV aid, Cambodia has made great strides by progressively reducing HIV aid prevalence to 0.6% in 2013. To achieve this indicator, the Cambodian government has further adopted a policy of getting to zero zero new infection, zero aid related debt, and zero discrimination by 2020. In addition to tracking Cambodia FDG achievement, the Royal Government of Cambodia has put forth the Cambodia MDC acceleration framework with approach to accelerate the progress of the FDG and other human development goal. This framework could provide the essential input for the implementation of our national strategic development plan to complete the remaining MDG, as we are to set the target for the preparation of the post-2015 development agenda. Cambodia share the view expressed by the high-level panel of eminent persons in their report to be adopted during this 69 session that a new development agenda should carry forward the spirit of the Millennium Declaration and the best of the MDC with a practical focus on poverty, hunger, water, sanitation, education, and health care. Cambodia is of the view that the post-2015 development agenda should be realistic and build upon the lesson learned from the difficulty of the realization of the MDG, in particular to ensure that any process to work a broader development objective should be truly balanced and comprehensive. Mr. President, this year, next year, 2015, is a crucial year for the UN to celebrate the 70th anniversary of its cre creation and the 10th anniversary of the 2005 World Summit, where world leaders agreed to reform the United Nations to meet the need of today's geopolitical and global challenges. To this end, the General Assembly should be more empowered so that it can play a leading role to strengthen a wider UN system. The Security Council are the body mandated with the primary responsibility for maintenance of internal peace and security should represent today's one reality. In sum, we think that a more equitable representation in the UN organ would reflect the need to cope with the global challenges. I thank you for your kind attention.